Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, check out our website, hanksters.com, where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos, they never come down. Whether they were shot three days ago or three years ago, they stay up for our subscribers to watch our content. However, when a vehicle is paid in full, that unit comes down off of our website, letting you know it has been sold and is no longer available for sale. Hangstersgarage.com. Not only do we sell and distribute automotive parts and accessories throughout the United States, but more importantly, we install them. Therefore, if you're watching one of our classic car presentations and you decide, I want a different wheel and tire package, or I'd like AC added, or I want power steering, power disc brakes, um, custom exhaust, fuel injection, different carburetor, uh, maybe a different dash, maybe an LED digital dash. We can do all that stuff for you prior to your vehicle leaving our facility, as long as you allow us the time to do so. Hankstersgarage.com, check us out. So, a vehicle we have had a fair amount of success with here in our Daytona Beach showroom is the Mercury Cougar. And today we have an 1867 to present to you that's kind of a cool car, so let's check it out. Uh, there is a Marty report for this car that we will show you uh, momentarily in this video presentation. Uh, it is a 289 uh, in the car. Uh, the car did start life with a 289. By the way, it is a 1966 289. Therefore, uh, it very well could be the original motor for the car. It's kind of hard to tell, but there is a brake booster, a power brake booster mounted up there on the driver's side of the firewall because the car is equipped with power brakes. Um, mounted down here where you can barely see on the front of the uh, engine block there on the driver's side is your power steering reservoir. And the reason that you have a hard time seeing the power steering reservoir is because right here is your AC compressor because this 1967 Cougar is equipped with AC. So for those of you out there that ask the question, can you install AC? The answer to that question is yes, but on this vehicle it's already installed so you don't have to worry about it. So it's turnkey, ready to go. Uh, period correct, 289, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning. Blue car, which is the color the car started life as. Uh, the headlight doors do work. We will show you that in this video presentation. Uh, let's take a look at the paint on the top of the uh, fenders in the hood. Uh, it's in good condition. Um, so the uh, fenders, hood, cowl area, uh, no clear coat fade, no blisters, no cracks, anything like that going on. Um, it is a driver quality paint job, and for those of you that wonder what a driver quality paint job is, it's just that. It's a car that's meant to be driven and enjoyed. It's not going to be a perfect paint, um, and we'll show you some of the reasons why in this video presentation. The front bumper does have some uh, minor scratching on it, um, so it's not like a brand new bumper or anything. However, the bumper bolts are in good shape. There's no rusting or pitting around those, and there's no chrome peel on the front bumper, so that's a good thing. Uh, taking a step around the car, notice a couple different things. Uh, first of all, we have a, a silver gray pinstripe that will start out on the front fender, continue on a driver door, and all down the rear quarter of the car. The car does have a black vinyl top. We'll go over that here shortly. Um, Five-star American racing wheels give the car a real nice uh, sleek look. Uh, the black centers with the uh, uh, silver offset on the uh, outer perimeter of the wheel itself and then of course your uh, Cooper tires there, radials on the car uh, look real nice as well. The uh, chrome wheel opening moldings that you will find on uh, front and rear uh, driver and passenger side are in good shape. They're installed properly, crimped properly. Uh, paint on the lower portion of the fender here in the front in real nice condition. Uh, no blistering, bubbling, cracking, anything going on in the paint uh, there on the driver's side front fender. Uh, your pinstripe is in excellent condition. It's not faded or peeling or uh, cracked, chipped up in any, any capacity. Uh, front windshield clarity, uh, real nice on the car. Looks like a, a brand new front windshield. I don't see anything that's uh, cause for concern. The uh, Silver molding that encompasses the entire front windshield is installed properly, uh, crimped properly, looks good. Um, so vinyl top, when you're looking at a classic car with a vinyl top, there's a couple different things to be aware of. <clears throat> First of all, when your body flexes over time, you know, front windshield may come loose, you have old uh, silicone there. 
you might get water inside of there, and then that would cause your vinyl top to bubble above the front windshield. Nothing going on on this car, no uh, rust bubbles or anything going on under the vinyl top. It's uh, nice, uh, in great condition up there above the front windshield. Um, your uh, rear, rear view mirror on the driver's side door, which is also on the passenger side door, does show a slight sign of patina there. Um, Again, not a newer mirror, it's, uh, it's an older mirror, but uh, in good condition and functioning. Uh, drip rail moldings on the car look to be in good shape. Uh, glass clarity on the vent window, door glass and quarter glass, all in nice shape. No heavy scratching or etching in any of those uh, glass components that I just went over. And back to the vinyl top, uh, another problematic area is usually above your drip rail which this car does not have an issue. And then also uh, down here on your uh, top where your top meets your rear quarter, same thing, that's usually a, an area of concern or, or something you want to check out. Um, it's where all the body lines meet, you know, your, uh, your drip rail, your uh, rear quarter, your uh, front windshield, your rear windshield, which we'll go over shortly, but uh, this car, nice shape up top on the vinyl. Driver door. Um, there is a scratch there, uh, right there. It's very faint, but it's present. You can, from three feet away, you can't see it. You get a foot away from the car, you can see it. <clears throat> the uh, bottom of the door here, no rust bubbles, um, no uh, paint cracks going on. There is a couple brush touches here on the edge of the driver door from use over time. Let's pop open the driver door here. And before we pop open the driver door, keep in mind, look at the uh, door fitment on the car. Uh, the door fitment's nice and uniform. Body lines are good. Uh, we'll give you a shot down the rear quarter here in just a few moments, but uh, real nice body lines on the car, both driver and passenger side. Um, it is true XR7, by the way. Uh, we'll show you the Marty report here shortly. Uh, so as far as the interior is concerned, um, I would probably classify this car as a partial restoration. I don't have any documentation or history on the restoration. Um, everything we have with the car is in the trunk. I'll show you that. You'll get it with the car when you purchase it. However, you can tell like, you know, like the door handles, okay, that they have some patina on them that where, you know, they're either older or very possibly original, which if they are original, that's fantastic because for original 1967 door pulls, they're uh, in fantastic shape. There's a couple spots here, nicks on the uh, door sill when you enter the car, obviously from the driver entering and exiting the vehicle. Um, the uh, courtesy lights in your sail panels illuminate when you open up the driver door. And then also your uh, underneath there, your uh, kick panel on your passenger side and same thing on the driver's side, they're also illuminating in the floor there uh, in all four areas, both in the sail panels and then in the kick panel. Uh, back seat. Uh, in real nice condition, does have rear seat belts. It is leather. Um, the uh, leather is in real nice condition in the uh, rear of the vehicle. The uh, carpeting in the car, not uh, ripped, torn, faded. Floor mats in good condition. Uh, floor mats in the front are branded XR7. The uh, carpeting in the uh, vehicle in nice shape. Uh, the uh, you know, your Fords have your heavy wear pattern area uh, coated in rubber, so you got a rubber mat there by your throttle pedal, and then, of course, in your uh, driver's side floor. Uh, nice condition, carpeting around it. Look underneath the brake pedal and the throttle plate there. Um, up, going towards up towards the center console in nice condition. <clears throat> Once again, you know, the steering wheel could be original. Um, it's got a crack there. Uh, it's got a crack over here. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, it's the correct factory steering wheel for the car. It's not an aftermarket. Um, there is a tiny uh, tear here on the driver's seat. It's not torn through. It just looks like the, the leather might have been punctured there. Um, I can't put my finger through it, but it's a little, uh, little tear there on the driver's seat. Uh, it does have front seat belts as well. Uh, the center console is in real nice shape. Headliner in the vehicle is in real nice condition. Uh, the wood grain uh, all around the dash is in pretty nice shape there. Close the door and take a look down the side of the car. 
So we'll first uh, get a shot low behind the rear wheels, show you there's no uh, paint issues going on there in the rear quarter. And then when you look down the side of the car, you know, you want to uh, keep in mind that, you know, when people ask, well, how straight is the car? Well, what they're referring to is when you look down the side of the car, if you see any waves or uh, deviations in the metal, uh, usually if there are waves or, or deviations in the metal, that it, it's usually a sign of like some subpar workmanship and body, uh, body work or aged body work. And this car has neither one of those, so no issues there. Uh, hat rack area does have infinity six by nines. We will figure out on the test drive if those work. Rear glass clarity looks to be good. Um, someone has uh, upholstered the hat rack area in a material that is not factory, but it's not stained, it's not faded, it doesn't look bad. Um, you know, it, it appears to be uh, in, in pretty good condition. Paint on the deck lid and the tops of the rear quarters. Again, uh, no uh, debris in the paint, um, no paint bubbles, no blisters, cracks, spider webs, anything like that going on. I uh, told you earlier a problematic area for your convertible, or your vinyl top, not convertible top, I'm sorry. Uh, vinyl top is, again, behind the rear uh, window, and there's nothing there, you know, no crunch, crunch. When I'm pushing my finger on it, it's all nice and solid. Chrome on the rear bumper in nice condition. Again, you have very, very faint scratching. Uh, not a brand new bumper, but uh, not a bumper that needs to be replaced by any means. Uh, real nice chrome presentation. Uh, no rust around the bumper bolts. The chrome's not peeling off the car. The uh, chrome turndowns there on the rear exhaust. You have, you have dual exhaust. In your lower valance is your uh, reverse lights. Take a look in the trunk real fast. Show you a couple things. Trunk mats in good shape. Uh, the trunk itself. There's your trunk. It's in nice condition. Uh, Ford products. That is your gas tank, so you don't have to worry about there being holes in the uh, trunk pan because your trunk pan is your gas tank, and if there's holes in there, we have an issue. So a little folder there that I told you will come with the vehicle. We're just going to set it softly on the car real fast. Uh, here's the important piece of documentation, which is your, whoop, which is your Marty report. Uh, 1967 Cougar XR7 289, um, serial number, production at Dearborn, um, XR7 two-door hardtop, Nordic blue paint, uh, blue leather bucket seats, and so on and so forth. Chicago, Illinois was the dealer. Um, you know, more options down here, power drum brakes, power steering, air conditioning, so it was a factory air car. Um, the rest of it is just uh, your 67 Illustrated Features Manual, Facts and Features, and then a uh, wiring diagram, which uh, a good portion of that is probably insignificant today because, you know, people have probably been in there doing wiring work over the years would be my guess. But nonetheless, all of this documentation will be in the trunk when the car arrives, including your Marty report, which is kind of important um, for the value of the vehicle. Passenger side of the car uh, presents itself about the same way as the driver's. Uh, notice at this angle uh, how your door fitment is, how it fits nicely to the rear quarter and to the front fender, and now how all that, see that body line there? It starts there, continues on there, continues on the door. See how that all lines up nicely? Um, no paint blisters, bubbles, cracks, issues going on down low on the rear quarter, neither behind the uh, rear wheel or in front of it. I mentioned earlier in the video presentation that your uh, wheel opening moldings all installed properly look nice. Uh, your pinstriping down the side of the car uh, is not peeled in any way, is not uh, flaking off. XR7 badging on the vinyl top, which by the way has no issues on the passenger side either. Back to the glass clarity of the car. The uh, glass is in really nice shape. Quarter window, door glass, vent window. Uh, I mentioned earlier there is a uh, mirror on the uh, passenger side door also. It's about the same condition as the driver's side, um, maybe a little better, but uh, both of them are, are, are nice. They don't, you know, it's, it, they don't need replaced. Uh, bottom of the door, you can see there, 
um, no paint issues, rocker panel. Car has nice paint throughout. Pop open the uh, passenger side door real fast. Uh, the door panel itself, armrest, door pull, you know, all in nice condition. Um, passenger side seat there, front seat belts, uh, leather's in pretty good condition. XR7 floor mat, you get the uh, reverse perspective of the center console, which is also in nice shape. Uh, wood grain above the uh, glove box there in nice condition. XR7 badge on the passenger side uh, front dashboard. It's a good looking car. So we'll pan the bottom of the door real fast to show you there's no paint issues going on down there. And also the uh, passenger side front fender. Um, there's uh, no paint issues to speak of up top here on the passenger side front fender. If you want to get extremely picky, there is a little tiny uh, mark out of your pinstripe right there. That's the only imperfection I saw on the pinstripe throughout the entire car. <clears throat> and that about does it for our 1967 Mercury Cougar XR7 with power steering, with power brakes, with a 1966 289, with factory air conditioning, with a Marty report. Uh, it's a nice vehicle, and I'm uh, happy that we have it here as part of our uh, Daytona Beach inventory. Let's throw our XR7 up in the air real fast and do an undercarriage presentation, and then uh, it's a great day to have AC in a classic car in our state because it's about 97 degrees out today and definitely over 100 with the humidity. So. We're going to find out how uh, cold our factory AC blows in our 67 Cougar. I encourage you guys to come to our showroom in person when you're looking at this Cougar or any other piece of inventory that we have here for sale. We are in the business of selling 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not perfect. Um, they all have their uh, flaws and deficiencies, some of which we try to point out in these video presentations. But look, there's only so much we can show you and disclose in a 20 to 25 minute video presentation, which is where we try to keep them at. But when you visit our showroom, you can go over, for, go over the car for as long as you would like to. We'll pull the car out doors for you. You know, all of our inventory is inside. We don't keep anything outside, but we will gladly pull whatever vehicle you're interested in outside for you. You can look it over in a natural light real good. Uh, you can pop the hood, you can pop the trunk, you can open the doors, roll the windows up and down. We'll gladly put it in the air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, uh, bottom of the motor, bottom of the transmission, your suspension components, your tire condition. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car accelerates, stops, starts, steers, handles, rides. See if there's anything you don't like, any kind of noise, any kind of vibration, any kind of, uh, you know, anything about the car that you don't like or would turn you off to buying it. When you're here and you go over the car for yourself, you know exactly what you're getting when the vehicle arrives. At the end of the day, we are an internet-based company. We conduct the majority of our transactions online. It's done through email, through text messages, through phone call, through FaceTime, through pictures, through videos. Uh, that is how we sell most of our vehicles, both here in Daytona Beach as well as in our Homer City PA location. But if it's your first time buying a classic car or it's been a long time since you owned one, our sales staff is very knowledgeable. We can tell you, you know, what type of gas to use, what type of oil to use, how to properly store the vehicle, uh, maybe some of the expectations that come with owning a classic car, some of the responsibilities. Um, tour our facility here in Daytona. We have a 25,000 square foot facility that houses 60 to 70 cars. Uh, we have a cool little gift shop. We're in the heart of it all, uh, right between the beach, the speedway, the shopping, the dining, a lot of cool stuff to do here. So pay us a visit. Check out our inventory, meet our sales staff, see our business operation, and get yourself a nice vehicle for us to ship home or for you to trailer home, um, and let us earn your business as a customer. Let's uh, put our XR7 up in the air and do an undercarriage presentation real quickly, and then after that, we will do a uh, test drive on the car to show you how it runs out. Okay, underneath our 1967 Mercury Cougar, disc brakes up front. Uh, the Oil pan looks to be nice and dry at this time. So if you look up here on the passenger side, you can see that blue gasket there. That is a brand new oil pan gasket. And the uh, bolts on the oil pan look good. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if you can or not. And then over here next to the oil filter, you also get a good perspective 
uh, blue rubber uh, oil pan gasket there, and then all your uh, bolts are in good shape. Continuing back on the car, you do have headers, driver and passenger side. I don't see anything um, rust hole wise, pin hole, uh, rot hole, any kind of suspension components rubbing into the headers that you sometimes uh, get. The uh, frame rails on the car look good, both driver and passenger side. So somebody has welded frame stiffeners onto the frame rails. Not really sure why, why you do that to a 289 car, but we didn't do that. We didn't remove them. Um, it is what it is. They aren't hurting anything. They don't affect anything. It's just usually you're putting frame stiffeners in for a higher torque, higher horsepower car, and this is not the one. Um, the uh, uh, floor pans on the car uh, look to be in good shape here, starting at the uh, driver's side front, continuing all the way back. Uh, looks to be all nice, one, uh, one solid piece. And it's the same thing here on the passenger side. A uh, really nice pan on the passenger side of the vehicle. Definitely newer, definitely were replaced at one point in uh, the car's lifetime. Uh, you have dual pipes that are going to lead to dual mufflers. So your uh, welds coming off the headers look to be pretty good. Uh, dual pipes running all the way back, and then your uh, mufflers uh, system there. Flowmaster, the Flowmaster mufflers on the uh, car. Drum brakes in the rear. Exhaust system comes up over the uh, rear end of the vehicle there, continues to the back where you have chrome turndowns there, dual exhaust that we showed you earlier in the presentation. Uh, Tire condition, uh, good on the car. Uh, so the car does have some tire life left. There's your wear bars down there. When the tread gets to the wear bars, that's when it's time to replace the tire. So uh, definitely has some tire life left. And check out, you know, one thing to be concerned with when looking at a uh, classic car is any kind of dry rot or cracking between the treads. Uh, that'll tell you about tire age. Um, and uh, this one, no issues on, the, uh, on our 67 Cougar. Gas tank looks to be like a newer one. Um, it's in fantastic condition, not caved in, and definitely not leaking, so that's a good thing. Your section where your trunk pan meets your like back seat area, you can see where the uh, your rear shocks are, uh, all in nice shape, no rust holes or rot holes. Your frame rails on the driver and the passenger side continue all the way to the rear of the car where the bumper is mounted. Those are also in nice shape. We do well with the Cougars, and this is a pretty nice one that we have, this 67. We're going to set it down on the ground, we're going to take it for a test drive and show you how the car runs out. Before we do that, let's discuss our payment options. If you're a cash buyer, cashier's check from your bank, bank wire transfer. Um, typically, uh, most cash buyers are doing a bank wire transfer simply because it puts the funds there the same day or the following business morning, depending on what time of day the, uh, the wire is completed. The sooner we're paid, the sooner we start processing the vehicle for shipment. Financing. We have a couple different collector car lenders we use that will do terms on this car. No, we are not offering in-house financing, but the collector car lenders we work with will give you financing terms. They will be 5 to 15 years. Now, they won't go 15 years on like a $30,000 car. So, uh, you know, the longevity or the long term of the loan depends on the price of the vehicle. It also depends on your credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, things like that. All the things normal underwriters look for in, when they're approving any type of loan, whether it's a home loan, boat loan, RV loan, car loan, what have you. Um, simple interest loan, so if your payment's 500 bucks a month and you pay 700, the extra 200 goes towards principal, so that makes it nice. Also, if you get approved for this Cougar on like a seven or an eight year term, and you pay it off in one or two, they aren't gonna penalize you for doing so. There's no prepayment penalty. That makes it nice to own one of these classics as well. Whatever your payment method, once we're funded in full, the vehicle goes through a pre-delivery inspection. We are in the business of selling old cars, as I stated earlier. Anything can start leaking, anything can stop working in any given moment, they're old. So we put it through one last final shakedown prior to it leaving our facility, and give it the green light heading your direction. Torque lug nuts, check tire pressure, make sure the reverse lights are working, tail lights are working, wipers are working, you know, all that stuff. 
Once it's through inspection, the car goes through detail, and then a carrier is dispatched when we are told the car is ready. Typically, we can have a driver here within 48 hours. However, sometimes if you're in a more difficult destination or you're a West Coaster, we sell a lot of cars in California. Um, you know, there's, there's fewer trucks making the runs, obviously, simply because of the time frame to get there. It's all the way on the other side of the country. Um, allow us three, four, five business days. But I promise you, once we're funded, we move quickly. We do this a couple times a month, so we've pretty much got the process streamlined. It is funding, inspection, detail, dispatched, and then gone. And of course, if you're the ones handling the shipping, whether you're sending your own carrier, whether you have your own trailer, or whether you're coming to drive the car home, we'll let you know when the vehicle is ready for pickup and you can come get it. Let's set our 67 Cougar down on the ground. It's a beautiful day here in Daytona Beach. We'll take it on a test drive and show you how the car runs out. Okay, we were smart enough to leave a car parked outside for two hours in the sunlight. So it's like 185 degrees in here. But we have our air on and we'll be cool shortly. So we're cooling down. Um, I was testing the radio and I never bothered to turn it down, so I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but as long as we're there, radio works. Wipers. Wipers are working. Temp gauge is coming up. Tap. 98,688 is the miles on the odometer. Title reads exempt. Our AC controls are over here. The AC is working and it is blowing cold and I hope that it cools down the car shortly. Horn works. Left map light. Voila. Right map light. Voila. Courtesy lights are in your sail panels. That switch works. And then your panel control is like down there in the kick panel area. See it? Um, horn, radio, wipers, AC. How about turn signals? Driver's side. Not sure if you can see that. It's a little bit peeled there on the inside, but it does work. Uh, and the passenger side. And we showed you in the uh, exhaust run video that they work on the outside as well. Um, center console is in good shape. Got a remote control for your radio if you can't reach your hand that far. Um, dash pad appears to be in good condition. Uh, headliner in the car is real nice, not ripped or torn or faded. Clock is ticking. Can you believe that? All right, well, we're sitting about 97, 98 degrees here in Florida today. So we're gonna take our Cougar out with AC on a test drive and show you how the car runs out. Inside our 67 Cougar, air is blowing nice and cold now. Car is nice and cool. Temps about halfway in 97 degree heat, right where it should be. Uh, Speedo is functioning. It's got a little bit of a wave to it, but not bad at all. Um, the car has no vibrations whatsoever. No engine vibration, tranny vibration. Car tracks down the road nice and straight. Steering's nice and tight on the vehicle. Car's got a nice smooth ride to it. Brakes work fantastic on this thing, by the way. We'll show you that here momentarily with our red light we have up here. Brakes. Stopping perfectly straight, no hands on the wheel, no pulsation or vibration out of the rotors whatsoever. We'll get it up to about 60 miles per hour here. 2nd. Third. Or 60. I got a pickup truck in front of me here, so I'm going to have to brake. Car cruises along fantastic at 60 miles an hour. Here we are, 45, 50. No hands on the wheel, tracking straight. Steering wheel's not shaking. Uh, front end of the car isn't shaking or vibrating. Nice alignment to the vehicle. 
67 Cougar, Marty Report, steering, brakes, air, everything's worked, radio, you got tunes, ice cold air conditioning. This car should generate some phone calls and some activity on our website. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this car along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our 67 Cougar includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on internal components of the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. It does not cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, oil pan gaskets, tranny pan gasket leaks. Uh, it's just going to cover the internal components of the powertrain or your major mechanical breakdowns. The warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, which is most independent and franchised facilities, as well as your dealerships. It just doesn't cover Bob's backyard garage. It tells you he's a blue oval expert and to bring it over to his house with a six pack of beer. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. Time is money and there is time involved in shipping. You have to look into the driver, make sure they're properly licensed, bonded, insured to carry your car. You have to schedule the pickup. You have to schedule the delivery. You have to keep track of where the car is at throughout the uh, transport. You have to pay the driver when they pick up the car. At a negotiated price, you're going to handle all that legwork on your own. If you have your own open and closed trailer, you want to come trailer this vehicle home, maybe make a couple day trip here in Daytona, you can do that. Open and closed, doesn't matter. We've had people do that also. And if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you can drive home nice and cool because our AC is blowing nice and cold and your temp is where it's supposed to be, about 180, 185, right in the center there. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach. And once again, our website is hangsters.com. Check us out. We'd love to earn your business.